Both teams come into this one riding high after back-to-back -back wins. Mr. Vitale, this third round game should prove to be a tight one between the New Mexico State Aggies and the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Gauchos should be able to play a lot of bodies tonight, Dick, as they're highly favored on paper. But what are the keys for them to win? Tonight, the keys are pretty simple. First, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Second of all, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. And finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams looking to get things going here. Trying to feed inside. Goes up for two. That's good. Replay of the night, baby. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Number 12 grabs it. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. He brought the ball back down to the floor, and he stripped them. Foul charge. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Perfectly executed. Trying to go inside. Entry pass in the paint. Tries for two. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Dumps it in. The center takes the feed. He pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They look to get it to the inside. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. the dribble gives it up the small forwards with the ball pushing that basketball help one another communicate he takes the shot drains it Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. This is what you're supposed to do down low, is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Put it 101 and how to explode to the goal. Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribbler. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. out of play full house and a packed crowd and they are into it tonight i tell you what emotion what an edge for the home team he missed the guy in the post and goes the other way pass down low there's a drop step and oh good defense i thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot very poor job with the drop step very slow Side. Number 42. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. The ball goes out of play. Ooh. 
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Number 12 gets the pass. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He grabs the rebound. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. For two, he gets the bucket to fall. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Got a nice screen. He goes for three. No good. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We've got a good one going. And in and out. On the outside, number 15 gets the ball. He shoots from right of the circle. Number 21 from downtown. And he'll kick it back outside. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. He's got a nice shot fake. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. High post screen. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. In and out. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Turns it over. Number 42 fakes the shot. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Goes up for two. New Mexico State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Working it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. How many bricks did we see? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Gave it up. 
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, how about this crowd? They're enjoying this close matchup, and there's nothing better than a close game during tournament time. All right, thanks, Aaron. Nice fake. Got the high pick for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Great anticipation defensively. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Gets the rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. On the outside, he launches a three. New Mexico State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. The frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 12 is fired up right now emotional. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Shot was no good. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Watch out, Dick. Their emotions seem to be getting the better of them. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Good. That's an 8 nothing run. Fake. With a little baby hook. And he missed. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He wants a three. He has taken his team completely out of this game. These young guys have to remember to let the game come to you. Don't force the action. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tickles the twine. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. From left of the circle. Way off target. And he'll kick it back outside. Launches away. Gets it to fall. He attempts the three. He buries the shot. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. Dick, I'm really impressed at how quickly they get back on defense. I'm more impressed with how quickly they respond to the correct rotations. Picks off the lazy pass. Gave it up. The fake. We'll take the shot. 
He gets the shot to fall. Up and inside. Gets the rejection. Takes away the pass. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hack. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Up and inside. A high screen for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Questionable shot selection there. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Picks off the pass. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He takes a three. He nails the shot. Shot to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Basic. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. With a stop here, there will be sheer pandemonium in the stand. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. the pass in the paint and he missed from the top of the key off the rim and no good an absolute stranglehold by the defense so far tonight hey the other team is responding by throwing up quick shots which is exactly what the defense wants he's not letting the game come to him at all yeah brad he's trying too hard to build a one-man show he's taking the game away from his other teammates come on man get with the team get the flow Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brown. We've said so many times you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. On the outside. They work it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Number 42 is really turning some heads right now. He's on fire. Brad, he's on fire.
Redemption's ready to start again. Intercepted. They work the perimeter. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Makes it. Pushing that basketball. He tries the three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. With the fake. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their poise is beginning to fade. Attempts the trifecta, way off target. He intercepts it. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Working around the perimeter. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Had a momentary look from three-point land. For two. Doesn't go. Shot clock is dead. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Working it around the perimeter. There's a high screen. Shoots. Scorches the net. At the half, the Gauchos lead by 14. It has definitely been an interesting first half. Any plays, Dick, in particular that stand out for you? Watch here. Pounding the ball inside like you see. In this highlight, we'll take a lot out of the team on defense. I expect to see more of the same from both teams in the second half. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. UC Santa Barbara displayed a spectacular shooting performance, Dick, in that first half. Indeed, Brad. I predict the defense will come out and really be a lot sharper in the second half. They better be ready to play. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. Thanks, Aaron. Picks off the lazy pass. He's got some room. That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. Check him out, Brad. The center handles the pass. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. That's a breakdown. That'll drive him towards bananas. I'll be to lose your hair. Trying to get 
get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a screen on top and got it. For the deuce, they still don't score. They work the perimeter. He does the sweet fake shot. Leans in. The lay -in. Spacing. Gave it up. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. And the ball goes out of bounds. Ten on the shot clock. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? Off the rim and no good. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. From left of the circle, he takes another bad shot. That shot's killed chemistry, Brad. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. UC Santa Barbara have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know what, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Double team now. Bad angle. The ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. He used the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. The point guard receives the pass. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Gets it back out. 10 on the shot clock. For the bucket. Finger roll. The Aggies are down by eight. Two. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The Gauchos are up by 12.
on the outside on the dribble gives it up gave it up this whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job good Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. The Aggies are down by 12. Takes away the pass. Dump it inside. Got to think right now, got to focus defensively. Number 42 is pounded on his way up. Look at him, Dick. He's trying to pump up the crowd. He and his team have made a series of great plays. And boy, do they have the momentum now. He's saying, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Gets it. Doesn't miss that opportunity either. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Moving it around the perimeter. For the deuce. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. There's a double team waiting there. Steal. The Gauchos have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Picked off. He shoots from outside, way off target. UC Santa Barbara are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Robs him of the ball. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially, what's a three-quarter? Then he plays him where he gets good close position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box for two. He nails that shot. <laughs> Tries the turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. They work it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Outside jumper. Off the rim and no good. On the dribble, gives it up. 
And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Nice fake. Dick, he's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. In and out. Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's giving the offense the blues. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. He's trying three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. The Aggies are down by 20. Basic. Gave it up for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The Gauchos have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Off the mark. Looking for a good shot. The small forward receives the ball. He fouled him. Let's check in with Erin Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Erin. Well, Brad and Dick, a sense of urgency down here on the bench. The coaching staff is starting to sense their players are starting to panic, and they want that stop before any further damage is done. Guys? They work the perimeter. Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Way off target. Makes a great move to draw the foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? With the free throw. He hits his first. And he got a move. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And the slam. <laughs> Moving it around the perimeter. In the paint. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. First one, good. Makes those free throws count. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the outside. 
takes the shot off the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught. And this kid has responded in a positive way. That's seven unanswered. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. On the dribble, gives it up. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He shows the sweet touch. For the deuce, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. The center handles the feed. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, possible to block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For the bucket, rims out. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Can't get the shot to drop. Green was there, but the shot didn't fall. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that twenty, though. He goes to the line for the first time. He misses the first shot. Makes the second shot. Misses his third. Not a very good night at the line, Dick. Absolutely no excuse for that, Brad. No excuse. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. For the bucket. Off the rim and no good. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And the ball goes out of play. And a momentary look from three-point land. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Goes up for two with a layup. We get another look. He makes the block. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Number 11 is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Someone may have to talk to him. He needs to get back on track. For the deuce. Yes.
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They go inside, and now back outside. I'll tell you, inside, outside act. He rejects it. And he'll kick it back outside. Pump fakes. The shot from the baseline. Rims out. They'll work it around the arc. He launches a three. He's got to pass those off there. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. He strokes it. They're really losing confidence with their poor shooting at the time, Dick. Hey, nothing that a couple of fast break dunks could cure. Pushes it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. On the outside. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Nine on the shot clock. Looking for a good shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. He puts it up quick to beat the clock. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. For two, a severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. They work the perimeter. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. I tell you, it's time to start fouling. We want to stop the clock. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And the clock stopped with a foul. Nobody likes this part of the game, but the loose team is fouling in order to stop the clock. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Stops the clock again. Number 12 going to the charity line for the first time tonight. No doubt. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. He missed it. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They gotta find a way to chip it for this lead before it's too late. Maybe some game plan changes, Dick. You never know what's coming, Brad. And Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. For the bucket. And off the mark. That'll take some pride on his defensive end. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. Goes to the free throw line. Makes it. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. He shoots from the top of the circle. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Controlling the ball.
Gave it up. There's the trap. Great defense. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dick, I think the better team won. We can say that, and uh, it's heartbreak for the other club. But you know, you got to win it and keep on going to get that final Monday night in April. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. The Gauchos just wanted it a little bit more in this game, and because of that, they're going to live to play another day, Dick. Hey, they're on their way to the Elite Eight, Mr. Nestle, where they'll be joined by the seven best teams in the nation. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.